Ramble. Thank you to BetterHelp and Little Passports for sponsoring today's episode. Oh, well, I never was there ever a podcast so clever as Magical Guilty Pleasures. Welcome to Guilty Pleasures. Guys, it's here. It's happening. We're fucking doing it. We're talking oh about cats, the odyssey, the, the majesty, the horror. I'm Zach Kornfeld. I'm, I'm, I'm beaming in from home today because I had a little COVID expose, and also I don't want my co-host <laughs> to beat my ass. But joining us in yeah. the studio, we have the wonderful, the ineffable, Mr. Ian Hecox from Smosh. Hello, Ian. Hello. Thank Ian. you for having me. This has uh, been yeah. a long time coming. I'm very excited to talk. Feels like cats. Christmas. Doesn't it kind of feel like Christmas? It does. Feel I thought like you Christmas. said Ian sounds like Christmas. <laughs> well, cat- and I'm like, well, yeah, you got a point. Well, cats did come out around Christmas time. Yeah. It feels like yeah. somehow a holiday movie. Because everything in London is Christmas. <laughs> You're yeah. so right. So that's, uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you really think about it, it's all Christmas all the wow. time. Damn. I can't yeah. believe, Zach, of course you would have a COVID exposey. What did you call it? A COVID exposey? COVID exposey. COVID exposey. I want to make it cute. During yeah, don't make this. it cute. It's yeah. a deadly virus. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you heard. During this, this is all you've been talking about. This is, yeah. you pitched this podcast to me using this as an example. You said, like, we could do cats with my friend Ian. Yeah. And your friend Ian is yeah. sitting on the couch right here. Yeah. Here I am. And, and Ian, I have sent him the text so many times yeah. of, hey, we're going to do this. Hey, we have to bump it this week. Because I wanted to get all <gasps> of us together. Uh, yeah. And you guys were traveling all weekend. Uh, or, or sorry, all summer. So, yep. but we're here. We're doing it. We're here. We're getting jellico bitches. Oh. I <laughs> look at the cannot wait to talk about <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're getting jellico. He's yeah. had his eyes closed for ten <laughs> seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jellico, the jellico. Did you just say? I thought they were saying genitals. Mm. The entire no time. way you're, you thought they were saying genitals. 100%. They don't have No, there genitals. are no genitals. There are no Thank genitals God on I cats. Did not have to see because they're inside of them. A single yeah. butthole. Yeah. They CG'd out the bulge. They CG'd out the, the bulge. On, which is a damn shame. But they left all the have. boobs. But somehow they still yeah. gave, yeah, they gave Taylor Swift CG boobs. They, a, and um, they so, added boobs to Taylor Swift. Yeah. Hey, oh. hey, stand it up for the flat chested ladies out here. I'm not saying anything bad about it. I'm just saying that they added. <laughs> Facts. Yeah. It is quite a choice that she is the only cat with boobs when we know why. I, I think about <laughs> Taylor Swift going into the CGI studio and be like, hey, give me give me some titty. Like, like, yeah. give me, <laughs> just give some me a little beefy, titty. furry, but, but maybe but, milky? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would they be mm-hmm. milky? Yeah, give me, some, give me a little. We bump, didn't bump. see any cat nipples either. <laughs> no, 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 no. Damn shame. Where's... Where's the uh, where's the titty ray? Give me give me some give me some titties, man. I don't know who made the judgment call on that, but based on every other thing scaled in this movie, the mm-hmm. fact that she had huge knockers actually doesn't surprise me. She leans over their uh, shoulders, like, "Can you just uh, a little bigger? A little, <laughs> just more. Yeah, no, just a little bigger. Your hands. A little just, more. Just, just a little bigger, a little if you more. would." <laughs> okay, wait. We've already started. We like we're hitting jokes. Yeah. We gotta we gotta rewind. I mm. need to know. <laughs> Zach, you have to start this yeah, whole, please. like, it feels like a totem pole of cats. Yeah, you've been obsessed with this movie for Too long. two years. Two, every day. Two years. Yeah, so, feels like every yeah. bit. Seeing this movie yeah. was the single greatest experience of my life. Ian oh my was there, wow. sitting I right was. next to me. I Kelsey was, yeah. was, was there. there. Now, when this trailer dropped, mm-hmm. I said, this is either going to be a great movie. It like is really? the the trailer is beautiful. I think you were the only weird. one. You are the only person. <laughs> I tried to keep it in my I'm sorry. Twitter was a blaze, and it was one of the greatest nights of Twitter. Yeah. Um, outside yeah. of uh, you know when <laughs> black people thought we were all getting superpowers that during too. the solstice, that yeah. was very fun. Yeah. But uh, up there, yeah, up there for yeah. sure. I said it's either going to be incredible or it is going to be one of the greatest misfires of hubris in Hollywood history, and I am so delighted and titillated to report that Ooh. it is the latter, uh, directed by Tom Hooper, a Oscar, Oscar-winning director of The King's Speech, with a star-studded cast. This movie is what happens when no one says no. Uh, <laughs> there's so much that I, I, I this, need to say. I was just gonna say, this musical is what happens when uh. no one says no. So Cats was one of the most successful musicals of all time right. uh, through the 80s, and it is a cocaine-fueled nightmare. Yeah. Um, a fun fact is that everyone in New York fucking hates this musical. Uh, it was yeah. running for so long, 
and we have nothing but disdain for it. I'm sorry are if you're you out there listening York? and you're expecting me. Am I from New York? Yeah. yeah. Where are you from? Do I give off New York you vibes? You strike me as a, you, no, you strike me the same way that Zach strikes me as New York vibes. It's upstate. Oh. It's I'm not suburbs. from upstate New York. I'm from, no, I'm from I'm from upstate California. Oh, nice. okay. Yeah, Sacramento. Oh, same. Well, yeah. same thing. The suburbs of the cool city. Uh, what what's the cool city? Is it San, San Francisco. Francisco. Uh, I don't know a fucking map. Uh, I no. dropped out of college. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> You're obsessed with this fucking movie. Had you seen the musical? I uh, had never seen the musical. I hate the musical. I think okay. it's a bad musical. And Wait, I'm sorry if you're expecting it, the cat stands to, to it's like, defend it. And it's isn't bad. it like the fourth longest sense. running musical uh-huh. ever created or uh-huh. something like that? What's number one? Sure is. is it Lion King? Jersey Boys. Jersey no, Boys. I don't know. I was guessing. I think Lion, <laughs> Lion King is up there. Mama I think it's Mia? Phantom of the Opera. <gasps> oh, Another Andrew Lloyd, Christopher Webber old. movie. So I, I made a big deal. I don't drink anymore, but I drank for this movie. I bought 20 tickets. I called everybody I knew. I said, guys, we're getting lit. We're going to see cats. Oh, no. uh, I was I was a little crossfady. I was uh, hitting that joint smoking and weed. drinking that. <laughs> smoking that drugs? Juice. Can you even say that on a podcast? I don't think you can. Here you can. I think the, we're the whoa. cool guys. Yeah, no, whoa. I don't think we can. We can guys, say Kelsey was talking about, about ketamine right yeah. before the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> <That's true. laughs> well, she was talking about it off the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> so. Well, now it's on, baby. Your girl's yeah. going to try some ketamine therapy. <laughs> Anyway, so you got Jesus. crossfaded and invited all of us. Yeah. It was just magical. And you can you can jump in at any time here, but before the movie started, there was a crowd of other women who were wasted, and one woman comes in carrying wine. She goes, Who's ready to get Jellico bitches? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, I'm with my people. Wait, okay, so wait, hold on. Before you give mm. your personal connection to it, mm-hmm. you had not seen the musical. No. And you had not seen the musical. No. I had not seen the musical. Why the <laughs> fuck were were why were we all obsessed with cats when we had no look at it? Because it, it should not have been created in this fashion where okay. because apparently I, I was reading up on some trivia right before this. I did some of my research. Oh. Nice. Um Woo-hoo. apparently this was originally pitched, I think, as a fully animated movie. Okay. Just I I, <laughs> I literally wrote it down. Himself. I said this should have been an animated movie. Yeah. There is no reason for us to have these fucking faces yes. on these cats. Yes. It and doesn't, fingernails. And fingernail, and it, 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 see, the <laughs> whole <laughs> thing was just so uncanny valley. Uh-huh. It felt like two hours so. of uncanny valley. And you're just looking at Taylor Swift's face. I mean, she's got a great face. You're looking at Jennifer Hudson or, or <laughs> Idris Elba. Elba and you're Gordon. just like, why is her face kind of on the cat, but yeah. not on yeah. the cat? It was like f- kind of floating to yeah. the right a little bit sometimes yeah. to the left. Mm-hmm. I was like, yo, just just make it animated. But I, I feel like the reason why it is not animated mm-hmm. is because either the, the hubris of the act, mm-hmm. actors involved, mm-hmm. they're like, I want to be on Cats. Uh-huh. I want to be a part of Cats. I couldn't make it in the theater, so I want to do it on the film. Mm-hmm. Or the film, uh, like f- the film community just disrespects animation so much. <laughs> That I feel like if they did animate it, less people would have signed up. I to think do it. it was entirely Tom Hooper, the director, just wanted it's that a musical on it being this middle ground, creepy middle ground. Because the musical is humans playing cats. That's and right. That's it fair. It translated so is well that there. But that I mean, it's fa- it's not fair. <laughs> it's not fair. It's silly, and it translates on screen. Yeah. But I do think that the reason why it's humans playing cats on stage is because you can't have cats playing cats no, on stage. No, what? But you Prove can't it. have cats playing cats on fucking film. I want to jump that. in here. I actually think the reason why it's humans playing cats is because of cocaine. It's I think cocaine. you will yeah, find that everything that. You know comes I, back to cocaine. I love like this because I'm getting, Garrick is giving us what we got to feel two years ago. Yeah. He's really like, <laughs> oh, he can't. Okay, you're right. working through it. Still. I'm working yes, through it. Yeah, like, I'm you're sorry. giving us okay. the reactions <laughs> that we had. Like we've had time to yeah. soup process in it, really yeah. marinate okay. in it. Okay. And like, but just to have this angst again I, coming out like you're angry I and am, I'm here for it. I am it's the right livid. reaction. <laughs> yeah. It's the right reaction. I am I'm living. And here's what the experience of the movie is, right? You're watching it hopefully with your friends. Yeah. I dear God. I know that there are a lot of people. <laughs> Did you watch it alone? I watched movie. it alone. <gasps> That's a strange <laughs> and sober. Yeah. In the morning. That's a strange experience. It is it was so weird. I I was I woke up and I was like, man, I don't think I'm gonna have enough time 
to finish this movie <laughs> so i might as well just wake up a little earlier it's fine I'll the just earliest say it. garrick has texted us yeah with, a, <laughs> yeah, with right. an opinion about a movie yeah um just i'll wake made up some coffee made some coffee made some breakfast down. and i was just like all right let's let's set it up and then i realized that the whole movie is set up and i was like what the fuck why are we still <laughs> learning about characters uh-huh. an hour into the movie <laughs> I, I, okay, I wrote down, I, I'm sorry, I, I wrote down in my um, in my notes, 35 minute mark, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> is that uh, Jason Derulo? Is that around that time? I think so. I, I think I'm sorry, so. Rum Tum Tugger? Rum yeah, Tum Tugger. At that point, Thank you. time Thank is, you. is this, not Rum Tum, this Rum Tum Tugger is the cat that fucks, right? Yeah, yeah he, fucks. He, fucks. he fucks. Yeah, he is. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, let me speed run this and I'll give you guys a synopsis or I, I will attempt to. Oh yeah, to. good luck. Um, oh, sure. The, the movie in my opinion, is best enjoyed, inebriated, with friends, screaming, your brain melting, you, it, is, it is a masochist marathon, you yeah. will writhe in pain, and then somewhere along the way, it beats you down, yeah. and you mm-hmm. submit to cats. But there was a woman <laughs> behind us, we were all laughing the whole, you know, hysterically the whole time. And there was a woman behind us in the theater yes. who emphatically about 20 minutes into the movie, I believe at Garrick, the, the point where you said, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. And she goes, what's so funny? They just cats. Yeah, yeah. I thought she was in front of us. She, she like turned around. She was in front of us. Yeah, she was in front of us. She turned around, I thought. They just they cats. Because we were, we were just, just laughing cats. our asses off yeah. at just how bad it was. And then she went there. She went there as like a serious movie yes. goer yeah. to really absorb this this artistic. <laughs> what a fool! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like she didn't expect ninety percent of that audience to be on drugs or alcohol. Yeah. I yeah. had the joy of watching you guys mm. watch it right. on um, whatever it is you want. I am, I am jealous that you didn't your, get to go. Yeah, I'm. I, jealous I'm of actually your glad you didn't because I think you would have you would have been the convincing tug for me to leave to go you would have been like let's go downstairs <laughs> yeah. to like a bar and literally I, hit our head against a brick wall i would have i would have been booing at the screen yelling <laughs> no what the fuck yeah. oh shit why? J- why 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 does, why? Why does idris elba look so naked he compared to everyone naked. else when he throws he looks, his clothes off i so kind of like that part i'll of sexualize course. idris elba i don't give a fuck as He's, a cat he yeah. he does it for me as in a CGI I, furry I think pussy. that Idris Elba had my one of my favorite lines in the office oh. where all of the, the ladies in the office were like falling over him or whatever and it just cuts to confessional. I know the effect I have on women. <laughs> it's just it's so good. I, I had never seen this man before in my life and I was like this guy fucks. I like him. You didn't watch The Wire? <laughs> I didn't watch The Wire before then. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I fucked up. I watched it now. I thought you were going to say he had yeah. his... F- your favorite line in the movie when he went meow oh, yeah. <laughs> disappeared in a, in yeah the everybody's line <laughs> wait okay zach did you give a synopsis technically because i'd actually really like to fucking know what yeah it is. i want to know what the movie yeah. is about i would love that because i couldn't uh, my favorite thing in the world is after after the movie uh my friend neil mcneil shout out to neil he brought us a couple of us including ian to a cafe Mm -hmm. that is his real name neil mcneil and he explained the synopsis and we all went oh (laughs) i guess so yeah huh so uh, cats is is about a bunch of jellical cats who are feral street cats in the streets of london and they are all uh introducing themselves via song championing themselves (laughs) for the chance to go to the heavy side layer uh, with to be <laughs> from old Deuteronomy played by Judy Dench. And basically what it is, mm-hmm. is that all of these cats are singing a song. So you have it in a musical where it's just people introducing themselves over mm-hmm. and over and over and over and mm-hmm. over and over and over a fucking mm-hmm. again until the movie's over. Mm-hmm. And what they and Garrick, what they are <laughs> fighting for <laughs> is to be reborn into a new life. They are fighting to be killed. Yeah. All yeah. of these cats mm-hmm. are fighting for the chance to, they are horny for death. Mm-hmm. Cats. There's nothing better than watching a child's imagination in action as they unlock new ways of seeing the world. I mean, when I was a kid, that nothing meant more to me. 
Little Passports offers award-winning play-based kits that fuel curiosity through fun, hands-on activities. Your kids are gonna love the feeling of discovery almost as much as you will love watching them explore. Maybe you're a parent, maybe your friends have kids, maybe you have a niece or nephew. Do you want to get the best gift? I got this for Ned's kid, Wes. You open a Japanese robotics lab at home and become a master in computer engineering. You get to gear up for fun as you dive into the history of robots and you blast off into space to see how they're used on other planets. It is so cool. Each month, Little Passport ships kits full of hands-on activities that let your kid take the reins in exploring the world around them. It's so fun to watch the kids in your life uh, grow and explore through this, and it's really fun to do it with them. This holiday, give the young explorer in your life a world of adventure. Get 20% off any new subscription with promo code GUILTY at littlepassports.com. Order by 1220 for Christmas delivery, free shipping included. That's littlepassports.com, promo code GUILTY. That's where okay. they go in the balloon? That's where they go in yeah. the balloon. Um, I, okay, so mm -hmm. there's a scene in Adventure Time that, He's again, desperate to talk about any other show. Any other show. <laughs> I am truly incoming desperate to talk about references. anything else. But I, I, there's a scene in Adventure Time where Finn walks up with a bunch of balloons and he's like, all right, thank you, balloons. And then he lets them go and lets them float up to the sky. He's like, you're welcome, Finn. And then one of them just yells, finally, we can die. <laughs> <laughs> it's so dark. And it's such a good throwaway joke. But I feel like that's this, this movie. Is, that's this movie. Okay, They're wait. fighting yeah. for the chance to, to be killed and be reborn again. First of all, that is fucked up yeah. nobody said that that was not clear mm -hmm. judy dench all of a sudden really turns to a villain i mean her name is deuteronomy which has some biblical reference yeah. which i don't know we're gonna have oh to and there's like out. a full cult aspect of it like she's yeah. just lording over them yeah and like Together. Shout out to Matt Pat. He has an incredible film theory video about how this follows the stages of cult indoctrination so go check that uh, out but oh. my my whole thing is like why do they want to die? Don't they have nine lives, they, first of all? They have not, I guess they have nine lives. They want to give up one of their lives to come back as a fat cat, right? <gasps> or a Wait, loungy cat. Really? You got that? I, you understood that from I, the fucking premise? Just <laughs> literally because I was trying to pay attention so he hard. He watched this sober. I watched this sober. I was well, I guess trying, you did too. I, I, put on, I put on the captions, and as soon as Rebel Wilson started singing, oh. that's, that's when I started to like flip my table, and I was like, oh my God, you guys. <laughs> I can't hear anything. You can't keep doing. You have to watch it with captions. I, you have to watch it because it's, it. it's, mixed, it's, mixed, it's mixed wrong. It, it's it, mixed it, it's incorrectly. So, it's so fucking yeah. um, oh, that's orchestral. Its <laughs> uh, yeah. That is its problem. Uh, it's that's so the only orchestra problem. forward yeah. rather than having the lyrics before, which is a thing you need to listen to in order to get mm -hmm. the fucking movie. Because mm -hmm. here's my thing. is it's, It doesn't do what Hamilton did so well, which is right. all songs, <laughs> right. no talkie talkie, sure. yeah. just singing plot. Uh -huh. right. And things happened and story moved and characters changed. This... If you walked out of the room for five seconds, you have no fucking clue what's going on. Well, you hmm. you've convinced me Hamilton is better. Yeah, it, yeah. I was on the fence. <laughs> That's but it. You got yeah. me. Hamilton is Hamilton is better because As the it's musical not theater just, queen. It is not just uh, you know something introducing itself over and over and over. Yeah, and over that and over was again. pretty. This this Wild. movie is like if you saw a cat, uh, your friend's cat, and you're like, "What's your name, little guy?" And then they just sang to you for two <laughs> fucking they just don't hours. Shut the fuck up! They just don't shut the fuck up. They're just meowing and meowing <laughs> and meowing, and you're like, "Please stop! Please leave me alone! I want to go home." I can't believe you got. I can't believe you actually understood the premise, though. Like when you saw Ian. Mm. <laughs> Did you know what it was about at all? No, <laughs> no, not at all. When so we went to this like deli afterwards, and his friend like explained the whole thing, and we were just sitting there like, "What? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're <laughs> they're competing to die." <laughs> and is it like they want to come back as the fat cat that Rebel Wilson and James Corden have already done? I, I don't think so, because I think all Unclear. of those cats were like throwaway cats, right? Oh, mm. so sad. Were they all like abandoned cats? They're all living Some on the streets. Them. Some of them were. I, I mean, Rebel well, Skimbleshanks is a railway cat. Oh, thank yeah. God we know that. The definitely. cat on the railway that is clear. train. Train, yes, um, the tracks. Right. Also, I think Skimbleshanks probably fucks more than Rum Tum Tugger. Uh, he did yes. look pretty I mean, hot. He yeah. was the one that I was like, maybe. Let's yeah. talk That's about it. 
Let's Game rank the most fuckable yeah. cats. Number one, uh, I have to agree. I think Skimbleshanks can yeah. fucking get it. That's okay. the one who's like the mixed calico? No, that's... He was the one with the red overalls. Oh, with the mustache? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Not. Oh, that guy. No. Kelsey? The fucking Kelsey, do you have Yeah, yeah. yeah. Skimbleshanks. No, no, no I wanted to shoot that cat. Yeah, face. he was like a weird absent Dude, Amsterdam he had the fucking bro. moves. No. No, he, he was had like the at moves. a carnival. He was so weird. I'm with you. He goes in Moulin Rouge category. Yeah. Bye. Uh, he was so weird. When he, I, I think when he came on. Mm -mm. Zach's he, on my team Zach here. Zach is, of course, he's on mm -mm. my team. Kelsey, <laughs> when okay, real quick. I want you to go on your phone. And I want you to Google Skimbleshanks real life, and I want you to see how hot he is. Number oh. two. Okay, we're gonna talk a couple really little pleasures here. And yeah. while I think this movie is mostly a, uh, like the cinematic equivalent of looking into the arc at the end of Raiders, mm. um, <laughs> it just melts <laughs> yeah, your yeah. face. Uh, I think that there are like a, a couple Weasley genuine brother. bangers of scenes in this movie, and Skimbleshanks mm. is one of them. I nah. think that scene fucking kills. Skimble, I think, oh, yeah. I think it's awesome. I think yeah, the Skimbleshanks scene kills. Um, you don't think Jennifer that, Hudson's memories? Yeah. Okay, all she, right. So that talk about song it. slapped so hard. Yeah, I had no <laughs> idea. I, I and it's, it's like, uncomfortable because she looks so fucking stupid so, while so she's bad. doing it. She looks so bad. But you're like, you are killing this right. song. Her she face in that is equal it. to Kim I, K's crying face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just no, ripping I, with <laughs> snot, giving one of the best fucking musical performances you'll ever see. Washington's uh, cry. Have you yes. seen Washington's cry? She's also <laughs> <laughs> lots of liquid. Yeah, it's a lot Why of stuff. Why did they do There's that to her? They, I don't. They didn't do that. She did that herself. That's great. That's. I mean, good for her. That. And they were just like, no notes. Looks yeah. good. You know, that is my first pleasure of this film. Was the snot? Memories? Not, no. Neither to your reply. <laughs> it's that these fucking A-list, mm. Oscar-nominated and award-winning actors yeah. fucking yep. ate yeah. it. They, the they went. <laughs> the performances were fantastic. I have no clue <laughs> yeah. what this studio is going to do to my body and my imagery, yeah. but I am here to fucking act. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And Jennifer Hudson, Judy Dame Dance, Ian McKellen, mm -hmm. fucking even, I'll give it to Taylor Swift. They all fucking <laughs> acted. Okay. But Interesting choice. Anyway. All right. <laughs> uh, they didn't all, they didn't all do a great job. Who did a bad job? <laughs> fucking James Corden. Are you kidding me? He's, He's the he was same ass. character in every he was ass. thing he's ever Rebel been. Rebel Wilson was ass. Rebel Wilson was maybe the only ass, I would say. She's a little they ass. Were, they were both yeah. trying to like bring a little humor to it, yeah. and it just didn't work because they looked so ridiculous. Yeah. And I'm not saying they as in James Corden and Rebel Wilson. I'm saying they as the, the characters. Cast. Mm. Everybody in that looks so silly, and I'm already laughing. I don't need to see you mm. fall over to add to yeah. you know, comedic. There's no comedic yeah. relief. There's no relief in it, that it situation. Is bizarre, it is bizarre because the movie opens with the worst performances, right? You get Rebel Wilson and James Corden and like their songs are bad, get they're not the funny. You want to punch them in the face. Like it's just really quite cringy. And then about halfway through when you just want to die, like yeah. you just want to jump off a fucking building, <laughs> Ian McKellen comes in yeah. and you're like, holy shit, that's a cat. <laughs> Yeah. That is a that is a man yeah. as a cat, and he is incredible. He's, he's the so only person that actually does cat like things mm -hmm. in the like. He's just like meow meow, and then he's like licking his <laughs> that, paws okay. and stuff. I, but I think that's what they needed to do more of. Yes. Was yeah, lean into the I'm wearing a cat costume. I'm wearing ears. Yes. like right. type of thing. Yes. They should have just put ears on all of the character, all was... of the actors doing it, rather than yeah. like the weird suits that they probably had to wear. Yeah, but um. Yeah, there. I mean, that. I think that's with some of the whimsy of the musical yeah. live. Also, is that you're seeing people with fucking cat, cat ears like and they look like features. streamers and they're like, Ugh, it and was almost like stuff. too much dancing, like needless dancing, right? And like not enough actual cat like features. Like it, it, watching that made me be like, do I really actually know how a cat acts? And right. I have two. And they were on the bed with me. They did not care for this movie. Let me yeah, tell you yeah, what. Yeah. They did not take a single <laughs> head lift to go, oh, what's happening? Even during Meow Meow <clears throat> moments. Oh, my gosh. It did, was it just <laughs> me or did like the cat movement of them having these fucking... Uh, oh, like the Beyonce backup dancers? Like the the, the twitching yeah, body and head? I think that's all they got from it was that cats always will... Like twitchy, shit. yeah. Like, th then it yeah. just looks like Night at the Roxbury, like me on coke. All the time. <laughs> yeah, 
Do you know they all went to uh, cat school for this movie? They oh, no, all they yeah. trained together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They all to did cat learn school. how to move together. I I watched I watched some like I watched some old video of like the original choreographer for the musical <laughs> Cats, and she's like telling them to be like like really sexual in their cat movements, and like. And then you realize, like, cat. Cats is such a fucking horny production. They all go on. It's the horniest movie it's ever made. The so, horniest musical ever made. Yeah. It's so horny. Yeah. Are cats horny? Because my two boys, who are not blood brothers, they're just ha- my sons. They do hump each other from time to time. Okay. Well, Thank you. Okay. I I, I need <laughs> to judging. know, Garrick, your first time, Kelsey. You've yeah. uh, seen this through sober eyes. Did yeah. you not? Scream with every fiber in your being. Did you not, by the end of this movie, want every cat to kiss? It's such a horny movie. I like felt weird about my cats being in my bed with me. I was kind of like, can you right? give me some space? Yeah. Because I don't know how it feels. It was like the end of Avatar when we we're all like, we'd, we'd fuck that blue alien, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought he would fuck that blue alien. So um, I'm going to blow your mind again. Uh, in that post-movie uh, Delhi meeting with Neil McNeil, this fabled meeting, mm. he shared a theory. And that is that whenever we see giant dance scenes, we need to go historical, right? This is London, feral cats, turn of the century. <laughs> They're all unfixed. <laughs> Every giant dance number is, is a cat orgy. <laughs> <sighs> do cats fuck like the way hamsters do, where it's just like oh, all the cats time? Fuck. Really? Cats yeah. fuck? There, cats there, was a, like there was a right? large posse of feral cats that, that lived outside my house, oh. and none of them were fixed. Oh, and no. the screams I would hear at <gasps> night for four years. Was this a little traumatizing for you? Like re-traumatizing you? I mean, you okay? it was just like there were it just I would be woken up in the middle of the night by some just like horrifying sounding cat do it. scream. You want to do it. You know you want to do I it. I can't hit that octave, but it was similar to... <laughs> it was like... <laughs> <laughs> like it was... It was Yowza. horrible, and then um, and then find, it turned out that you know, sad story. The the lady that lived next to me had oh. dementia. She wasn't taking oh, care of the cats. No. By the time she was moved out to a home, we got a trap and release person to come, and they caught sixteen <gasps> cats. That's about how many were in this orgy. Yeah, on screen. <laughs> yeah, those are some jellical cats. So it was yeah. realistic. <sighs> Can you tell yeah. me what a jellical means? Isn't it? Mm. Um, that's kind a of a what? secret. The answer to all of your <laughs> questions is cocaine. <laughs> uh, I think I, I did Always. read. I did read something. I don't know if it was Andrew Lloyd Webber, like his kid or something, said something like "Dear little cats" or something like that, and he he interpreted "Dear little cats" to "Jellical cats." What an idiot! I don't, I don't really know if that's the the <laughs> true truth. Sense. Not even close. But that's what I. But if you're British, you're like "Dear little, dear little cats." Maybe say it again. Jill it of cats. That was more Irish, I'm I feel sorry. like. Wow. It really oh, is a type oh, oh, of cats. fictional oh, oh, cats. Oh, 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 cats. I, I just need to set the record straight because I'm afraid that people are going to take away from this podcast that I'm horny for the cats and that I wanted them to kiss. Yeah, I guess I, I should have explained just, that too. Yeah. yeah, this, is not, a, this is not a Shane Dawson situation. <laughs> 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 we don't want to... There's no... <laughs> the cats are the all caressing each other. The They're caressing each other's faces the whole movie mm-hmm. and getting so close to kissing. And like she almost kisses Ju- Judy Dench. Everyone almost makes well, out with Judy Dench. And say it's, hello. They rub. Mm. But you it's, know, it's you know one why? thing when cats do it. It's do another when humans. No. Do you know it, why they secrete a sort like a, a type of um, like serotonin from the inside of their cheeks? And so, you know, when you scratch a cat and they go like, oh, my God, my face. That's why they rub up against each other. It's basically like kissing. It's like releasing <laughs> love. from their face. Yeah. yeah. It feels good to them. Yeah. Don't you just want to scratch your head and you'd be like. <laughs> Garrick, what did you love? Uh, nothing. Actually, wait, can we pause right here? Oh, <laughs> uh, what did I love? I, okay, so I think that the, I thought that the performances were good. <laughs> no, uh, you fucking did it. No, I, I said I agreed with you when you were saying it. 
I was like, the performances were great. Okay. I was like, oh man, they, these people they don't know it. how ridiculous yeah. they're about to look. Yeah, and they're just uh, in it, you know. And then they had to watch it back and like say, oh no, oh no, <laughs> oh boy. Oh, can can I add then, to what you were saying about the audio thing? Yeah, because you were like, the sound mixing was so was weird. weird. Yeah, did it not have like l silences where you could like hear the actor going like? Um, so I read that it was, what do you call it? Like live to tape? Like, so they, yeah. they pr actually performed yeah. on camera. Like they took that oh. audio. Oh, okay. Just like, this I think is they did the that thing with that he likes well. to do. Yeah. yeah. I, I, Tom Hooper like wants to get it immediately. So he, he wants is to having them sing on it was stage too much and it's just such a weird choice yeah, for me. Was, I'm, uh, I'm looking at my notes uh, about Jennifer Hudson's performance, which we all More. agree was, was stunning. Was and great. I wrote that watching Jennifer Hudson in this movie is like watching someone perform Shakespeare where I don't understand what the fuck she's yep, saying, but I feel it. I felt it. <laughs> not a clue. And I, honestly, the music, I don't know. I might get dragged for this musical theater nerds. Troop 6529, Florida Thespian. Thank you. I was the first superior in my high school. Um, not to brag, but... I don't think the voices in the music were that good. Oh, I oh, thought I, I thought the no, way that they everything was like a little sharp because I get it's supposed to be sad, mm. but it was the first time that I was like Jennifer motherfucking Hudson did not sound great. Mm -hmm. She came back, she brought it back with her reprise and it was fantastic. Mm. But the type of singing that was like mixing, you have Jennifer fucking Hudson and then you have Taylor Swift comes in and then you have Rebel Wilson who's doing like this jokey voice and then the cats like the main girl who by the way is a African ballet the royal ballet. They made she her a white stunning cat. They, oh my god. They, made, they turned her white. <laughs> Wait this. what? Yeah that is kind of yeah. weird. Okay she's I was not aware of that. They literally whitewashed her but she is a black Actress, yeah, so. and they put her white face. I thought she, she was white the whole time. Yeah, and then you're like, I'm just now learning this. <laughs> yeah, and you, wait, but Garrick, so you don't know what horrible. she looks like in real life, and you're I, like, that I, cat is stunning. No, no, I know what she looks like in in real life. <laughs> Francesca Hayward. She's not she like looks, a singer. No, she's a she's a, she's a ballerina. Right? She's a dancer. But then they have her singing, and so this mixture of strange musical, like robust, like musical yeah. numbers mixed in with these differing voices just didn't sit well with me it made my stomach the most hurt. egregious oh the most egregious is taylor swift where you know i'm not the biggest taylor swift stan though i do love folklore it slaps really but is they give no her this ever? like breathy weird like they give her a song that does not match her vocal styling mm -hmm. at all and mm -hmm. it's like such a waste is she also putting on an accent or is that her Voice. Everyone had an accent Everybody in this had a film. British accent. Okay. It was very strange. Yeah. Ian, if I remember correctly, after seeing this movie with me, uh, you saw it again the next night? Uh, not the next night. We we got our entire company together and we and we uh, <laughs> filled the theater um, where we just we brought some other friends and stuff and it was amazing. Yeah. Better the second time or what did you better think? because we it was it was all just friends in this theater and we were just talking shit the whole time ah. like just shouting like what are their sizes <laughs> because sometimes they were like the cockroaches were like a certain size yeah. and then they would be playing with a can that was like the mm -hmm. size of them mm -hmm. and there was no there was no set standard for what their Damn. sizes yeah, were how big they that were. was the yeah. first thing I did after watching this is I was like why was why were the cat sizes in cats the way they were yeah. and this production designer guy he like doubles down on how good of a job he did <gasps> and was like oh no it was like we we scaled it i did hand drawings of items in my hotel room that were 20 feet tall and uh you know for a larger cat we considered that for you know rebel wilson and james corden's characters we considered a 2.5 scale and i was like you fucked up. Yeah, you yeah. failed. You, fucked up. Yeah. You, you did a bad job. Yeah. You got it somewhere Mice along aren't that the line. Small. Mice yeah. aren't that small. That doesn't make any Is sense. They fit in a cat's hat? Absolutely not. Cats aren't that big. They're not that small. They're not. And the unless knife was getting, bigger than a cat. I unless you're getting really tiny hats for the cats. Mm. Is that it? They well, and there was a point where the musical. cats were the size of mice. The cats were on the train yes. track. They were, yeah. they were minuscule. Yeah, but yeah. then they were also fit under a hat. Did 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 so. any they weren't there reshoots or like didn't they redo a bunch of stuff after the they trailer redid came out? the CG like yeah. so it What's came that? out like the like the the graphics like so essentially like the the 
the movie came out, everybody shit talked how bad it looked. Mm. And the director was like, okay, we need to like redo some of the, some of like the VFX. So they went in like, I don't know, like they, they left in like Judy Dench's like wedding ring on her finger on accident. And there was like a lot of like bad, like facial tracking Yeah, and they went in like, so what's amazing that. is yeah. that that means it's the version that you watched sure. was him being like, Oh, 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 I fixed it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. That's the, that, but they, but they literally like changed the movie <clears throat> after it came out. Right. So yeah. the movie that we saw was, was different before they, fixed it but right. i mean like i didn't see a difference no when, okay. and they probably spent so much money like so much making money. all these people bust their asses to like get a new <sighs> so cutout sad. wait so how does a movie like this get through screenings and like test it, audiences well when I you're mean, when your director won an oscar for best picture right i mm. think you get a little bit more latitude but even even for shit that like he doesn't have control over, like the graphic design or like the CGI. I don't think anybody. I was going to s- that to anything. Shit. I mean, was King Speech that fucking good? He won an Oscar for. No. <laughs> I just feel like someone <laughs> somewhere yeah. should have been honest with this man. How does he trust anyone in his life? That is the age-old problem. Are you feeling like something's interfering with your happiness or preventing you from being your best self, Zachary? Always. Why? What are they? I'm sad. Well, I can help you both because BetterHelp is going to assist both your needs to match you with your own licensed professional therapist. And did you know you can connect with them in a safe and private online environment? It's so convenient. Boys, you can get a counselor connected to you in under 48 hours. They make it so easy, so convenient. You can message a counselor at any time, 24-7. You're going to get thoughtful and timely responses, but you also can have weekly phone or video sessions. So many people are using BetterHelp. They're recruiting additional counselors in all 50 states. We want you to start living a happier life today. As a listener, you'll get 10% off of your first month by visiting our sponsor at betterhelp.com slash guilty pleasures. Join over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health. Better H E L P dot com slash guilty pleasure. I think it's a really good movie to uh, if nobody if if this is opening night right mm. um, or like t- two days after you don't even know that the movie is bad right. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> you take somebody who doesn't know what this movie is, mm-hmm. what it's about, all of that stuff, mm. and I think it's a really good barometer for how honest they can be with you. Yeah, to test. <laughs> to test, because you go in and you're just like, oh man, I can't I can't wait to see this movie. And you're sitting there and you're watching it and this person is just- Nodding along. Nodding, like, yeah, it's, what do you think of the movie? It was, it was not, I liked it. They're a it's cheater, like, you're a yeah. adulterer. Shit. That movie was, uh, that was fucking terrible. Red flag. You know it was bad. Well, you know how they but, say you can always tell a lot by traveling with someone? I yeah. feel like you yeah. can strengthen or trauma your, your relationship yeah. by watching Cats together. I, I remember watching, again, I am um, going to another movie. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but I remember... Um, me and my cousin are big Avatar Last Airbender fans. Okay. Huge. Understandable. Unders- it's great. It's, great. it's really good. Never seen it. Kelsey's never seen Sorry. it because she hates me in cartoons. Yep. But <laughs> we we the, the movie came out, the the live yeah. action film came out. Yeah, it did. And we me and my cousin were watching it in separate theaters. I'm in <laughs> LA, he's in um the Inland Empire, and I'm like, yeah, let's go watch it. And I'm sitting there and I'm texting and I'm, I'm like, oh shit, Appa, dog, Appa looks, that's crazy. Oh, look, Aang is in the ice. <laughs> Yo, this movie is ass. Oh, <laughs> he, no. he, he immediately He's like me. live texting. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. The fact that we were texting in the first place. It should have been bad. enough. Yeah, but like, <sighs> I, I think that that made our relationship even stronger right. than it already was because um, we we came to the same conclusion at the same time Dang. while yeah. being 70 miles so away So you're like, we're other. family. Yeah, yeah. Like, this is a bond where if you take someone to this movie... Does anyone know, know anyone who liked it? 
No, 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 no. Me. No, no, no. I, I do. <laughs> um, you know someone yeah, who Matt, likes it? Matt Rial and Tristan Hill. <laughs> like the movie this Cats? Movie. They love it. No, Are they being ironic? They, they love it for the cats. same reason cats. we do. <laughs> oh, Cats. I love Cats. No, 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 no. You love this movie? Yeah, I love it. Yes. <laughs> it's no, it's I think great. They, I think they genuinely No, fuck off. It. You like it in an ironic way. Yeah, of course. Okay, do you know anyone but like a they, neighborly they, friend? Matt Rial and them. Tristan Hill genuinely like this There are like old BuzzFeed movie. pals. I feel like they're doing it ironically uh, no, as well. I do not It's think not so. for a bit? It's not for a bit. I play uh, Call of Duty with them a, a lot. Really? Like most nights during the pandemic, Do we were know? on there and they were like, you, have you seen Cats yet? And I'm like, I'm not going to watch that fucking movie. And I text them this morning. Are they stoked? They were so happy about it. Shit. They were like, oh man, I can't believe you're watching our favorite film. And then I was like, this shit is ass. And they're like, don't worry, by the end, you'll think it's great. <laughs> because, that's the experience. Wasn't. This movie is like, it, it's it's Stockholm Syndrome, right? It, it holds you captive yeah. and, and it beats you down and you're like, make it stop please make it stop and then all of a sudden it says and we all say oh well i never was there ever and then you're on your feet and yep. you're singing and you're magical mr mistopheles all over the place and if you do not sing along <laughs> yeah. by the end of that and yeah. get up and cheer you're not a human being i mean i've i've thought about this a lot and i think that this this if we really if we really try as a society this could be our generation's Rocky Horror Picture Show. Shut the fuck I up. I truly <laughs> think so. I truly, 100%. I truly think so. Rude. I truly 100%. think so. There's so many people in art. I don't give a shit. <laughs> so I'll, watch, I'll watch Cats. I don't give a fuck about Rocky Horror Picture Show. How I'll watch dare Cats you? any Amen. day. Amen. Amen, brother. Look, the pandemic took so much from us, but I think most of all was the opportunity for Cats to become a midnight classic. Mm. And I yeah. think had that not happened, we would have midnight screenings nonstop. I heard this would Cats be the cost most COVID. Funny. <laughs> Same time. Yeah. Well, I, 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 I enjoy telling people the last two movies I saw before, uh, before COVID was Cats. Both of them. The, yeah. last two the last two movies. <laughs> yeah. The last two movies I saw in theater was Cats. Yeah. Oh, Can we talk about the yeah. ending of this movie? There's like it, seven. Uh, fully yeah, it never my ends. Brain <laughs> it's burned into <laughs> time and space. It's still introducing Cat. Well, I'm referring to the point where uh, after they save the day, blah, blah, blah. The plot, totally irrelevant. Who gives a fuck? I don't know fuck? what day they save, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what the uh, fuck are you talking about? What there's day no day. Do they save? There's no day. I guess daylight. It's it's all at nighttime and then the day. The <laughs> night, biblical? I mean. okay. So uh, Dame, Ju J Dame Judy Dench goes to sing one last song. And as they are all singing outside, she turns and looks right into the That's camera, right. breaking right. the yep. fourth wall and turning my brain to absolute goo. Did you not lose your fucking mind when that happened? It was a happened? lesson. It, she taught, She gave us a lesson about cats. She looked at us and she said, don't ever fucking call us Peter and Leo <laughs> yeah. and Bella. <laughs> Give us our own, let us have our own name. Call me by my name. She said, she referenced <laughs> Timothy Chalamet's movie. Wow. Call me by my name. And she said, you fucking <laughs> bow to cats. <laughs> and I was like, oh, fuck. Like, that yes, was the lesson to be learned. That's what I was supposed to be understanding. And a cat is not a dog. Well, I want yeah. you to remember that. Yeah, that's right. That was the last, was that the last line <laughs> yeah, of the movie? No. Like, and remember, a cat is not a dog. And they were like, <laughs> a cat <laughs> is not a dog. That was great harmony. Thank you. You're welcome. You're, <laughs> I can tell you. Musical theater. Yeah. Musical theater. <laughs> It's amazing. But then I don't, so they sent Jennifer to die. Yeah. And then five minutes later, it comes to Jennifer Hudson still in the balloon, floating away to oh, her yeah, death. Yeah. You see a cloud in the shape of a cat's face cut to black when I tell you that I screamed in that theater louder than I've ever screamed at anything. Why? I broke bones. I almost lost a testicle. Yeah. That scream fucking shook the house. But what what were you screaming about? That it was ended that way? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was like the ending of Hamilton. How dare yeah. you? That culminated. Are you out of your fucking mind? Because, because it's revealed at the end that <laughs> What's Hamilton, your interpretation? That Alexander Hamilton got killed so that he could be he could 
come back as a cat. Oh, I forgot that part. And her <laughs> scream is realizing that, underground. that okay. he achieved his dream of being a... I thought she was orgasming. That too. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So what Probably happened to, to what happened to the villain? Uh, the villain starves <laughs> to death on top of a building. The male cats are the <laughs> ones that are screaming because uh, female cats have barbs in their vaginas. That's true. And male, Ooh. we're not... Yeah, doing no, 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 no. this conversation Wait, again. The vagina is barbed and, or the penis is barbed? And, no, the dick's, is, the dick's barbed. Please, we have talked about cat, penis, <laughs> and vagina the, on the last right, three see. episodes. I'm sorry. We cannot I'm take sorry. it anymore. Our audience. We actually, we were talking about duck vaginas. Oh, it's a totally different oh, thing. Yeah, yeah very different thing. Uh, it's like a, yeah, it's, it's the like a maze. Uh, I believe cat dicks are the ones that barbed. are barbed. And so I didn't want to bring it up yes. when you were telling that story, but it's actually quite sad. There's a lot of R word in nature. It's yeah. quite weird. Uh, yeah, the, the <laughs> villain dies of exposure on top of the, uh, on top of that building. He dies of exposure? Yeah. He's a fucking cat. Can't yeah. he jump from like 20 feet? He's up He's a, a little higher cat. than that. And also, what was his whole? What was his agenda? Because he could make cats cavity. disappear. Yeah. So he basically wanted Meow. to disappear all the other cats. So he was the only one that could compete to be the killed. Um, the, yeah. To be yeah. But okay. So Here he was disappearing writer. cats mm -hmm. to, to like the top of a tower or to something? a barge, I believe. Yes, a barge where a he barge. met them later. Yeah. Okay. But what did right. he do to them? Where'd they go? Where'd they go? How did he get They're just chill on a barge. He's just chilling on a barge. How did, how did he get this? How did yeah. Dame Gench get back? That doesn't, I mean, technically, can't the magic bitch cat can do, <laughs> can do this shit too, right? Dude, that's can, a dog. Well, there's two There's two magical cats, right? Yeah. So McCavity's magical cat, and then yeah. there's Mr. Mistopheles. Mm -hmm. um, magical Mr. Mistopheles to you. Stop saying it so you. casually. <laughs> you fucking know these Which, cats' also, name. Also, I just have to say, so I, I rewatched I re Team America the other night. I hadn't seen it <laughs> yeah. since it came out. And there's a very not okay part of it where he describes why he hates actors because... Um, say uh, it. You brought was, you this far. Uh, trigger warning. I'll say it for trigger you. Trigger warning. He was mol <laughs> molested by the the cast of cats, <laughs> and he and he refers to them by their cat names. And he's like Rum Tum Tugger, like held me down. Like, oh so, my god! It was, it was. I was like, okay, this is this is going far, but saying it with the names of the your cats. precious movie. They. How dare they? And I and I, Mr. Put, I put those actors into that into that <laughs> visualization, and it was very weird. These are also insane fucking cat names, <laughs> by the way. Miles is losing his fucking <laughs> mind. But what are the names of the cats in Cats? Because I've never Rum Tum Tugger, Mr. Mistopheles, Grizabel, Grizabella. Uh, a Ginny Any Dots. Old Deuteronomy. Bitch, what the fuck? No <laughs> one has ever named a cat any of these names before. What is happening in uh, London? There's Growl Tiger. Kelsey, did you not pay attention to well, the... They, we just talked about the theme them. of the movie. Oh. A cat has three names. The name that we give them, and then their 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 jellical name, their true name. What's and I don't third? know what the third one is. Wait, I don't, we don't remember. Know what the third one is. <laughs> You have to I don't for remember. Cats too to find out. Don't I would, even. I would rather die. <laughs> <laughs> like, tr Is that what's coming? Don't don't oh make God. that I, a fun fact. Please don't tell me that. If I ever is. get like success as a director in life, oh, I okay. will put all of my goodwill right. into making Cats two happen. <laughs> that is my dream. <laughs> Is that really what you want your legacy to go down instead of try guys, try birthing canals or whatever? You'd rather <laughs> yeah. have cats too. I have something better. I, I I have something better for you, Zach. And oh. I was going to save this to the end, but I'll just, but I'll just mention it now. Are Around you, a third. Are you aware that uh, Andrew Lloyd Webber made another musical after cats? Oh, are you talking about Starlight Express? I'm talking about Starlight Express. What's that? I've never seen it. Please. Imagine cats. But they're trains. No what? fucking way. No, no. They're trains. No. Yes. Thomas, the, like Thomas the train engine, where like, like the faces you have people are on the dressed Star like trains Light. and they're on roller skates. And I watched Express? a clip and the guys, but they're the sexy. The guy is skating around like this. <gasps> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? 
Your, so, so Zach, if you if you attain a high level of success, please fund that movie. Your, I'm sorry, God, your face Andrew so right. Lloyd Webber, who is known for apparently a lot more movies in my mind than he actually made, but he made Phantom of the Opera, mm. Cats, yep. and this yep. Starlight the, Express. Yeah, this is like he, I don't know how old this man was when he was making things. <laughs> But this is the equivalent of like when somebody is pitching something and they just start saying the things that they're seeing. <laughs> <laughs> and they're just like, yeah, what if like a, a TV was big <laughs> or a blue bottle? And you're just like, that, that's fucking that. That's that. <laughs> Did he, he live? He, I'm 100% sure he lived by an alley with a shit ton of cats yep. next to a railroad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he was just like, I'm going to just write. Both and he's like, what things. if these trains fuck? Yeah. You know what's crazy though? <laughs> yeah. Like, I have that's to imagine, deep. and people might come for us because we haven't seen the musical. So we, like, we are coming at it. We it's have bad. to say from like, okay. Wait, you have seen it? I think it's pretty no, universally it's agreed you don't that fucking know. it's not a good musical. There's but no, I know. There's, how, there's no way it could be good. How has it stayed running? How is he, this love man cats. richer oh, than fucking Jeff Bezos? Yeah, this guy is like- I thought talking about the uh, Starlight Express. <laughs> 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 because he made a musical about trades. <laughs> Sorry, I'm done with that fact. Okay, I want right. to bury it as it, deep it, okay, cool. as It's the people ball. that come and visit New York and go, wow, Times Square is cool. Ooh, we should go see this quirky musical. Wow, they're cats and but they're fucking so sick. Many I, mean, better better this is pre, I think it's a tourist trap. 100%. This is also like yeah. free internet. So how are people supposed to get their like cat fill? You know? Uh, get a cat. People love it. Our, our buddy Alex Lewis genuinely loves the musical Cats and oh. hates the movie because he thinks it does it a disservice and I argue with him all the time. I, I, um, I and he'll see this episode is, and that's fine. Like I'm nervous about Wicked becoming a movie with Ariana Grande because the the musical is so oh, fucking it's really good, good mm -hmm. that it's really good. you're just... Right. I actually like Have Wicked. you seen Wicked the I've Musical? Seen Wicked. Yes. I love that. I'm going to see two this weekend. The one Rouge musical you like. And, um, one, it, it, that is one musical I like. I don't yeah. know if it's the only one. I remember I enjoying another one. Um, <laughs> something Home. I forgot. Oh, that. Far Away Home no, or whatever? No. no, no, no. no. Uh, well, when you know. think about it, yeah. let us know. But Homeward I think Bound. No, I love that. Bound. It is <laughs> Word and Home. There is a, there is a special what can I say, spice, going back to the Dune references here, since nice. that was, we just did it. There's a special spice that happens in the theater mm. that you give a little forgiveness to. You're like, hey, that chair isn't the right scale, but I'm here in the theater and I'm seeing it live. Or like, Ooh, hey, that, that train sounded... looks like a train I want to fuck. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> There's a forgiveness. And when you translate that, with as much money and clout as these motherfuckers did. This was an Amblin, excuse me? Spielberg had to fucking give his thumb up emoji to this? No one's gonna bring that up? Why are we not talking about old Stevie boy? Who's gonna give him the so, big? Uh, it was uh, an Amblin production because as Ian pointed out, he originally was gonna make it animated once upon a time and then right. they they gave it up, but they were still yeah. connected. As he so he just he bought the IP. Reluctantly yeah. connected. Um, the musical uh, is called Fun Home. Sorry about oh, that. Fun Home. Good to know. It's, it's really good. I haven't seen it. Um, but uh, yeah, once you buy it, you that's it. Your name is on it. Shit. Yeah. Hmm. We're, we're nearing the end, so I want to give us all an opportunity to, to just rapid fire any <laughs> pleasures, because there's so many of them. Um, I'm just going to hit one real quick. <laughs> Sorry. That, Jason that was, Derulo is incredible in this yeah, movie. Yeah. I yeah. said it. Amazing. There I said it. He He's incredible. He's a fucking voice. star. Yeah. Acted yeah, yeah, for yeah, real. Yeah. Took it seriously. Yeah. Didn't need to. I bet I bet when he saw that they gave Taylor Swift boobs, he was like, why didn't you leave my dick in? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> like, leave my meat in if, if y'all are going to sexualize the meat. Leave my meat in. <laughs> <laughs> gonna leave my sexualize. barbed meat in. Yes, my inside <laughs> of my body meat. thorny shaft to be visible. You guys. I mean, just, I want you to look me in the eyes and tell me that Rum Tum Tugger doesn't fuck. You can't. He does. He's yeah. great. Next you know, and he was like He was like spraying milk on the other yeah, cats. That's yeah, that's hot. That's like a Pornhub category. It oh, is. for sure. Milk spray. Uh, the only three, you can confirm that there are only three yep, pleasures. One is all these actors are super committed. Okay, the set <laughs> colors I love, like Moulin Rouge Carnival. And the third, yep. I'm glad I didn't have to see any cat buckle. <laughs> Disagree. Mm. Fair. 
I mean, I think I think Jennifer Hudson's uh, yeah. final song was yeah. amazing. Yeah. Like the second time I saw it <laughs> when we had the packed theater, we all gave a standing O for oh. that. It was uh, that was incredible. Um, uh, shout out to um, her her weird leaky nose. Yeah, mm-hmm. that they decided to like <laughs> looks good. Rude. Just keep it in. Rude. Uh, shout out to Skimble Shanks, the railway cat. All right. Uh, and his whoa, whoa. tapping prowess. Tapping was whoa. fun. We didn't even touch on that. The they tap, tap dance. That's Skimble yeah. Shanks. That's the whole number. That's Skimble I know, Shanks. I know, I know. But I'm saying, I don't care so much about him, but the tap dancing was great. Yeah. So when I saw the movie, I, I had to run to the restroom real quick and I come back and they're singing Skimble Shanks, the oh, railway oh, cat. cat. Just again, that's all the song is, is saying his name and what he does. Yeah. And Eugene, who is I mean, that's uh, all drunk the with song. me. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's go back a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> <laughs> that's every song every song <laughs> every is song. just the name of the cat and over what they do and over, over and, and over and over okay. again now I was, fast okay. forward please. now please uh please uh, you, I, I sit back down in my chair and Eugene goes to catch me up because I've been in the bathroom <laughs> hey that's Skimble Shanks he's a railway cat <laughs> Uh, th- those are the <laughs> it was so important to him that I knew. Do you have fun facts? Because I feel like the whole fucking movie is a fun fact. I have I have a fun um, fact. Oh my god, Ian guessed fun fact. Well, because I I, I looked into the IMDb trivia, I oh. had to know. Um, That's a, what I do. It's very lazy. Oh great, oh. because it could be totally made up. Oh. Um, but my my favorite fun fact was apparently Tom Hooper, the director, got an emotional support animal after the movie because <laughs> he was destroyed no. by the movie oh, fucking way. and uh, he uh, went to bring uh, close. He went to bring but similar. The it was, it was Andrew Lloyd Webber, not Tom Hooper. Oh, the original really? creator of that's the worse. Yeah. That's so oh. much worse. Oh, that's but so please continue. Oh, this, is, this is after the movie came out. Yeah. The okay. original yes. musical creator needed to get an emotional support animal because of how bad his yeah. depression and, then and then anxiety he, they was. They asked him for like papers to get on the plane and he was like, I created cats. Do you see what the, the critics are doing to, no to the movie? No fucking yeah. way. He's, and yeah, he was like, did you see what no. they did to my musical? <laughs> I created cats. And they're like, say no more, sir. Please. You can come In up. In fact, come you've on. now been upgraded to first class as if Andrew Lloyd Webber Wright wasn't flying first class. What the fuck is this class. guy's name? I think you got it. You Andrew Lloyd like? Webber, you got it. Genuinely the most successful uh, musical composer of all time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, yes, I think we've hit a lot on a lot of the fun facts. Ian hit on it. But something that is fun to me, it's not really a fact so much as a behind the scenes assumption. And that is that everyone attached to this movie thought they were going to win Oscars. No. And that ultimately, <laughs> to me, no. is kind of the ultimate sell because it is hubris, right? You have an Oscar winning director, a star studded Oscar winning and nominated cast. Yeah. They brought in Taylor yeah. Swift and Andrew Lloyd Webber to write an original song wow. for this movie. Everyone thought that they were going, they were getting it. <laughs> I'm just so disgusted by this industry. Like, that's the thing is that we've created hundreds of thousands of movies, literally. Yeah. Somehow this one with was was the one they thought was going to win an Oscar. And we've gotten through making well, cinema for so many years successfully. Yeah. I mean, what the fuck? Went it's wrong? interesting that a movie this, that a movie about cults kind of was a cult in and of itself because yeah. they were all convinced <laughs> yeah. that this was yeah. beautiful. Because I, okay, so I think that this movie was coming out while Bong Joon-ho was writing Parasite, mm-hmm. right? And he's like sitting, he's sitting, or filming Parasite. He's like sitting around. He's just like, it would be really nice if this got an Oscar. And then it was, it would be real cool, I guess. I could, I, if I got two, I got to make him kiss and all that shit. What and that would be fuck? nice, right? He's writing this fucking masterpiece of a movie. And then these fuck nuts are out there <laughs> thinking, oh, this is going to win an Oscar for sure. Are you out of your fucking mind? This is what hubris does to people. This is why you shouldn't be allowed to, to like do anything good. I don't think wow. that's not anything good. But like, I, I don't think that you should be around Derek's anybody that just gives you down. like, yes, any, like just straight yeses. Yeah. This is the, the, that same age old problem that I was telling you. Nobody's going to say anything about 
you. Yep. That's Nobody's going to say anything bad. Me. Everybody's just going to be like, yeah, no, this is going to be great. But how did he be? How did this director become more powerful than the the studio executives and the fucking? Because he won an Oscar. So fucking They're what? Did he also do Les Mis? Shit. He did. Yep. Oh well, yeah. I mean, on top of that, there you go. Oh, uh, Les Mis wasn't so, so bad. So this is just him doing a miss, a hard miss. Mm. Yeah. Oof. You're not okay. Um, no, I'm, I'm not trying okay. to. I'm very yeah. upset. No, I just want to stay. I just want to give space for that. That Rick is visibly uncomfortable. I'm very yeah. upset. Yeah, I'm upset at the hubris that they thought that this was yeah. an Oscar. I don't have the final fact exactly in front of me, but um, you, you can we can look it up. You can go look it up afterwards. Take my word for it. Uh, there's a lot about the CGI in this movie and how it is. Uh, bad. We talked about the uncanny valley nature of it all. Uh, the CGI was incredibly rushed and people were oh. pulling tons of oh, overtime. And like so cramming. I actually have a something that pisses me off. So like after this movie came out, James Corden at the Oscars made fun of the CGI and they threw the CGI artists under the bus and yeah. saying that they're mm. the reason that this movie failed. No. One, uh. they were rushed. I think that there's some decent work in here. And two, it's you guys. It's the direction. Yeah. It is the yeah. the performance. The fact and that I, you chose to, to, to make it CGI in the first place and not just a <laughs> fucking cartoon. You yeah, yeah, I read that like the first, they had six months to do the trailer but for like the CG. That's what it is. Yeah. And then it was four months to do the actual movie. Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> so, so they, like what, that Oh, here alone. it is. Okay, I found it. What were they rushing? They were spending 90 hour weeks sleeping under their desks some t in some cases to get the film done on time. And they this crunch time led to a really cantankerous uh, working what? relationship between the VFX word? team and Tom Hooper. Well, that guy sounds like a full on asshole. I'm just going to say that. Tom Hooper, you sound like a real dick. And, and speaking of asshole, you. there is a fabled butthole cut of this movie. Kelsey <gasps> alluded to it earlier. It is I a did? rumor. We don't know if it is true. Release but the butthole cut. Release, <laughs> it. The butt -hole Release cut. it. Release the butthole cut. The people demand it. It's time for the end where we must decide is this movie. A pleasure, a guilty pleasure, or just plain guilty. And really, Ian, what we're going to do here is is tell the people why they should watch this movie. Uh, who wants to kick us off? I mean, it's a pleasure. If you enjoy, <laughs> it, it's a straight up, it's a straight up pleasure. If you, uh, I mean, we're witnessing, like, we're so lucky to be a part of this history. Wow. Um, generations are going to look back on this and wish, wish that they could have been here when it came out. That might be and true. And we are the happens. fortunate few. It's so, going to be our generation's Lisa, uh, what's his name? The Room? Yes. Tell me myself. Yeah. 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 Same vibes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I would say oh, our yeah. generation's Rocky Horror Picture Show. I'm sorry. I think, it's, I think it's a one for one. You know? All right, whatever. I thought we were going to be friends. Um, <laughs> I am going to say it is a plain old guilt for the many reasons that I have stated. But then I'm also going to say that ironically, it's a pleasure because I don't know that I've ever said this on this podcast that it was so bad that it stayed bad. Like I did not at <laughs> any point sit down and go like, <laughs> I'm going to watch this ironically now, or like, I'm just gonna watch this for the memes or whatever. I was like stabbing my eye with my makeup brush as I had to finish the movie to, uh, to get here in time. And I think because it was that bad, I have to give it the, the, the guilty rating, but a pleasure in that it's like, um, like when you burn yourself with candle wax and you kind of come a little bit, <laughs> I think. Right. right. Go on. Nice. <laughs> what was that noise you just made? <laughs> it was just like a, like a, a shot. I'm going to edit out everything else, Kelsey. So it's just that candle wax thing. And then we're going to move on to Garrick. <laughs> Great, I said my piece. Go ahead, Garrick. Bring, bring us, bring us home. <laughs> this is the worst movie I've ever seen. Damn. <laughs> Someone had to be that I guy. Think, I think it was, uh, it, it, I, I was getting increasingly mad at you guys. Damn. For me? me? <laughs> what the fuck did I do? <laughs> for making me watch this movie. Nothing against you, Ian, of no, course. It's, it's your beautiful it's man, fun. all of that stuff. <laughs> it's, it's great. That you like it. I think it's 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 I'm I'm proud of the whimsy that you can 
create and gather <laughs> in your own soul wow. in order to watch this yeah. several times you must be and watch it yeah. ironically mm. but i was watching it just mad yeah just very yeah, upset. you watched it for homework i watched yeah. it for, i watched fun. it for homework it's not fun so I, i'm just there to truly just critique and i'm like oh man i can I, hopefully because usually with me I, i'll watch something and then i'll get invested within like the first 20 minutes and mm -hmm. i'll forget about most things but right. this one yes I was like, okay, so where's my jumping off point? Where's my jumping off point? Mm -mm. It hasn't started. Oh my God, this is all set up. I'm 40 minutes into the movie. It's all set up. This is, what the fuck is happening? Yes. And that's when I, you know that's what, when I wrote it down. That, yeah. It feels that's like- That's on me, my apology. We didn't show you the right way. Come on over, bud. We'll pop it in again. We'll <laughs> no, do yeah. it back no, one more time. No, no. The issue is it's like what what I assume a, like a massive drug trip is supposed to be like. And you back I'll me up you on know. this. I'll let you know. I think you just have to like, you have to let go with cats. Yeah. You, ha you have to, you have to let go. You're so of right. Reality. Okay. And cats let it drugs. flow over you. Garrick, you're like, so a professional writer, like entertainment person that like everything we've been taught and reinforced by every movie we've ever watched and enjoyed. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You have to, not you can't even ex you can't even consider this a movie. It has to be an experience. It I guess. wasn't an experience at all. This is and just that is the experience. Take that it was a bad trip. For it was a bad trip. It, yeah. it, it, it turned into demons. Oh. <laughs> demons in my eyes. Yeah. But like I I do felt like I do feel like the movie was just spinning its wheels the whole time. Mm -hmm. So it just turned into like it's like watching a burnout. But if instead Dinner, of a beep, street, beep, it vroom. was just like cats. It's like a car doing burnouts. <laughs> On a cat that on just a walks cat? on a cat. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> exactly. Wow. Oh my god! That's the reaction I was looking for because that's how I felt when I was watching the movie. Fucking case and Kelsey, closed. I'm gonna take that baton and run with it because I agree. Cats is not a movie. It is an experience. Mm, it's an experience best done with friends. <laughs> best done a little under the influence. Uh -huh. uh, and there's so much we didn't even we didn't even talk about. We didn't talk about the, the cockroaches with human faces, the no. baby oh, mice God, dancing, the the, 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 uh, Rebel Wilson unzipping her body, oh, yeah. revealing okay. another I body underneath. Down. It is a nightmare filled on top of another nightmare. <laughs> it will creep deep inside your mind, it will beat you down, it will make you beg for release, and then, at the end, we will all say, oh well, oh. I never was there ever, a cat so clever as magical Mr. Mistopheles. And it is not just the movie, it's my favorite movie. Oh, Ian, thank no. you so much for being here. Thank Where you. Where can the people find you? Oh, you can find me over at a little channel called Smosh. We do <laughs> sketch comedy. We do unscripted comedy, improv type stuff. And we also have a gaming channel, Smosh Games. I'm at Jellicle Zach on all the things. Absolutely not. Kelsey Darrow on all the things. <laughs> <laughs> This movie ruined you guys. <laughs> ruined our friendship is ruined falling friendship. apart on the theme. I'm, I mean, don't look me up. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't want to be associated uh, with this. I, I, I want to be associated with the podcast. I don't want to be associated Damn. with this episode. Oh, <laughs> just replace Garrick's face this whole time yeah, yeah, with yeah, a CGI yeah, yeah. cat head. Oh my mm. God. Someone put Garrick into you, a if you guys, If you guys fuck him into a cat. If you cat. Until next time. Hey, I just want you all listening to know, and you guys in the room, you're all my jellical choice. Get the Aww. Oh. Oh. oh, hey, next week we're watching The Holiday starring Kate Winslet and Cameron Diaz. So don't forget to watch The Holiday on Netflix. And we all cut. Say, my own oh, cut. Never was there ever a cat so clever as magical Mr. Mistopheles.